All right, Shalom, Shalom. Call out, call out, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shah, by Hashem, Rakan, Kudash. Double honors, much peace, love, and salutation to the brothers doing his work, the truth and sincerity. Ooh, Salak, I want to. As soon as I started doing this lesson, I seen some chariots. I see some chariots posted up in the sky, man. <laughs> hey, that's spirit, man. Hey, call I am like y'all by Right when I start the lesson, man, I see some chariots in the sky. But um, Salaki, this is the brother Batal back again through the spirit with another lesson. Low willing is edifying. The title of this video is gonna be Yahweh Shah is in charge. You know, that's a lot of something that a lot of people forget. You know, you want to deny Yahweh Shah, but he's in charge of whether you live or die. Through his father his father gave him the power and authority in the earth man you know it's just like you got an inheritance and you have a son you give your heritage to your son man and yahweh shai is the only begotten son of the father even the lord is pleased with what yahweh shai has done and what he has did so what's wrong with you niggas man you know hey you know the latest news <laughs> latest news um about this coffer that dropped there you know you know, so we're gonna give all praise and the glory to Yahweh by Shah for that, man. Because hey, a lot of you, a lot of you scoffers and people that have been denying Yahweh Shah, the 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 um the man that came on this earth and died for your sins, and you gonna deny him, man? That's a slap in the face, a spit in his face, man. You know? What uh what's the scripture says? Um Damn, uh it's in Hebrews. Um Oh, you put Yahweh Shah to an open shame. You know? Denying the all the ah oh man, it's beautiful man. Two chariots, three chariot. Wait, slack it. One, two, three, four, five, six chariots, man. Right here above me on the highway, man. Right above where I'm driving. I'm driving what driving east. But um, ah, oh, it's just beautiful, man. Ah, uh, but um, like I was saying through the spirit, you want to deny your house shot when he's the one that has authority in the earth. So this is the book of um, John chapter 5 verse 22 It says for the father judgeth no man But hath committed all judgment unto the son Right so you deny Yahweh Shai And he is the one that's controlled whether you live or die Through his father Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai man You know The Lord you can put your ass to death And how you gonna deny Yahweh Shai man He's your savior He came to die for your fucking sins man Verse 20, uh, 23 it says that all that all men should honor the son. Y'all not honoring the son? Let's get that word honor, man. It's like it. The word honor says, um The state of being honored, and no, I need more, I need to get more detail than that. It says a tank bike. What? It's like it. A tang a tangible symbol signifying approval or distinction. The quality of being honorable and having a good name, right? So Yahweh Shah's name is evil spoken of. Which we understood. You know, Yahweh Shah warned us. He told us, you know, why these things will happen. And how his name, yeah, people deny the name. They drag the name through the mud and all of that. So we us through the spirit men that follow great millstone you know follow the apostles and elders of great millstone um we honor the name of yahweh Shah, you know because what he did was a very great thing and if the father's pleased with him i'm pleased with him you know he did what he did was beautiful man we weren't able to we, we wouldn't be able to stand before you and do these lessons and do anything because we'll probably be dead by now honestly a lot of people want to deny yahweh Shah, but Wait a minute. Your house shot died for your sins. So if the if it was up to you know the father, the heavenly father Yahweh, he would have cast us away. He would have, man, he would have killed us, man. Because we've been going the fuck off. Yahweh Shah was a mediator for our sins, man. You know? Because the Lord was ready, the Lord is ready to get rid of us, man. But he's bound by his word. So that's why he made a way for us to. Our sins to be taken away from us and he decided you know through the spirit you know he, he put that all our sins on Yahweh Shah and that's why we able to do what we do today but you got people that want to deny him give him a bad name say we don't supposed to worship him what the fuck you people are crazy man 
Y'all ain't putting out in that crack pipe, man. That's just, you know, hypothetically speaking. Basically saying you out of your damn mind. It says, uh, basically that's it. Let me see if I can see a little bit more. It says, um, bestow honor or rewards upon. Show respect towards. Except, well, that one. But nobody shows you how to show any respect except for men that believe on him. Everybody else, you know, all these scoffers and shit, all they, uh, Yahweh Shai is evil spoken of in their mouths, man. They deny him. They deny him, and, and um, they don't want to worship him. But it's fine, you know. That's why Rap the News dropped that, man. And there's going to be many other scoffers and many other men that's out here claiming the name of Yahweh Shai, but they're not really thoroughbred, man. You're not really true to the name of Yahweh Shai. If you deny him, you deny the ministry, you deny all of these things, man. You're going to find yourself to the grave real quick. Um, yeah, I wish I has control, man. It says that all men should honor the son, even as they honor the father. Right. People would just be like, oh, the father, the father, the father. Hold on. We, we, the Lord ain't really dealing with us, with us right now. If it wasn't for you, how shot, man? Who knows what would have happened? You know? I just passed my marker 144. Carl Lang Lang, I was going to shot. But um, if it wasn't for the sacrifice of Yahweh Shai, we wouldn't be able to do these things, man. And it's very important. What Yahweh Shai did was very needed and very important to, to us, you know, as being Israelites. Our sins was wiped away because if if the Lord would have let this devil do what he intended to do to us, we would have been exterminated by now, man. This world would be fucking through if Yahweh Shai didn't do what he did. But everybody wants to deny him. You people are crazy, man. It says, he that honoreth not the son, honoreth not the father, which he, which has sent him. And that's very plain and simple. If you don't honor and you don't respect the father, you ain't, you don't honor, or it's like it. If you don't honor and respect the son, you don't honor and respect the father. Because like I said through the spirit, and like the scripture says, most importantly, you know, um, the, the father is well pleased with his son. Matthew 3 and 17 it says and then in a voice from heaven it's like it says and lo a voice from heaven which is out of a chariot saying this is my son in whom I am well pleased the Lord Yahweh is well pleased with his son man. you know that's like you well pleased the Lord spoke out of a chariot and said in, in his son he is well pleased. And it says it more than one time. It says it in the book of Mark and the book of Luke. So the Father, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, is well pleased with His Son. So what's wrong with you niggas, man? Y'all don't want to accept the authority. Y'all don't want to accept the order. Y'all just want to skip Yahweh's Son and go straight to the Father. When the Father's really not even dealing with us right now. Because there's an order. Corinthians 11 and 2, 3. It says, but I ha I would have you know that the head of every man is Hamashiach, which is Yahweh Shah. So what's wrong with you people, man? Yahweh Shah is your head. The head of every man is Hamashiach. And the head of the woman is the man. And the head of Hamashiach is the, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. So there's an order. There's an order to this thing, man. So, 
what you people fail to realize is Yahweh Shah is in control. He is in control. And he's going to return in these last days. And he's going to execute vengeance upon all of his enemies. Um, let me go to the book of uh, Wisdom. No, not Wisdom of Solomon. Proverbs chapter 8. Because Yahweh Shah said, you know, Yahweh Shah, who is King Solomon, he said, those that hate me love death. And that's true. You know, you hate Yahweh Shah when he's the one that, you know, came to deliver you. Yah, meaning he, Yahweh Shah means saves or delivers. That's what he, he, that's what he came to do. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 8, verse 33. It says, Hear instruction and be wise and refuse it not. And a lot of people hear this word and they refuse it. Why? Because of simple bullshit. You know? Oh, he's cussing. Oh, 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 they, they don't want you to eat no pork. Oh, 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 they, they don't want this. Y'all, y'all refuse to accept order. That's what it is. You have no discipline, man. You know? People don't wanna don't wanna listen. They don't wanna they don't wanna do the right thing, which that thing that we're telling you to do, you know, is able to save your life, man. It's, it's for your benefit, man. And the scripture says what? Receive the engrafted word, which is able to save your soul. Let me get that real quick. Wherefore lay apart all filthiness and severity of naughtiness. And that's what Jake don't want to do. They don't want to lay off this filthiness. They don't want to stop game banging. They don't want to stop smoking weed. They don't want to stop doing Percocets and doing, you know, drinking lean and drink pouring a foe and all this other bullshit that's killing your fucking body, idiots. You don't want to stop eating pork. You don't want to stop eating crab. You don't want to stop eating lobsters. You don't want to stop eating scallops. You know, gumbo, shrimps. All of this bullshit that's not even good for your body. They don't want to stop eating these things, man. Niggas love cooking gumbo. Niggas love cooking seafood. That's like a delicacy here, man. Calamari, you know, sushi, and all this other f bullshit. Eating raw, and raw, even raw fish and shit, man. Disgusting, man. You're supposed to cook your food. You don't want to stop your, uh, your, your, uh, your um, filthiness. Jake don't want to be clean. They want to continue in wickedness and filthiness, man. That's why a lot of Jake, like the scripture says, the slaying of the Lord shall be many. Because the Lord is going to kill a lot of people, man. Because a lot of you are undesirables. And that's why we working, you know, we purging every day through the spirit, you know, you know, of the Lord. You know, praying for mercy. Praying that the Lord have mercy upon us and keep us in this fight, man. Because it's a fight dealing with the principalities and demons of this world. Whether it be family, women, you know, anything, man. Your job, all of, all of these things, man. It's a constant battle. And that's why we're trying to make it to, to, the, to the end of the race, so to speak. But it says, um, and receive with meekness the engrafted word, which is able to save your souls. And a lot of people don't receive it with meekness. They want to come in the truth and try to make the truth revolve around them, man. That don't work like that. It don't work like that. You gotta know your place, you gotta know your role, man. You gotta play your position, don't you gotta play your part. Nobody asks you to come in and try to be, you know, be, don't be something that you fucking not, man. Be yourself. Don't try to overdo your part, do what you're supposed to do. Don't try to overwork yourself, don't try to be over-righteous. Just do your fucking part, man. Handle your business and go on about your life. You know, be a man that's about your business, don't try to do too much, man. Just do what's required and continue to, you know, keep it steady. Like the scripture says, what? The race is not to the swift. This is not no, it's not no relay race, man. You got to do what's required of you, man. And that's it. Keep it simple. Like the elders always say, kiss. K-I-S-S. -S. Keep it simple, stupid. Because Jake like to complicate shit. When it's very simple, man. Do your videos. Show up to camp. You know, pray fast do things like that it's not hard man and if you're feeling weak you know i'm a testament of that you know pray to the lord pray to the lord pray for strength pray for more courage pray for more faith and the lord will give it to you and that scripture says what ask freely in the lord's wait slock you um it's in the book of james i can't find let me see uh if any man feeling weak uh hold on let me see uh bear with me real quick Bob Kasha. 
Oh, uh, wait, it might be towards the end. Ah, uh, man, I can't find that precept. Uh, any man feeling weak, let him pray or something like that. But to that effect. I was, thinking, I was thinking of another scripture. This is James 1 and 9. It says, no, slack it. 1 and 5. It says, if any man lack wisdom, let him ask of the most high that give it to all men liberally. So if you're not, if you lacking, ask the most high. Pray to the Lord. You know, the scripture don't say pray without ceasing for no reason. You know, and I gotta, you know, continue to pray more. You know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shah, Lord willing, man. You know, Yahweh Tiza, continue to pray more. Um, but like the scripture says, but if if, if any of you lack a slack, I'm gonna read verse five and six. It says, "Let let him ask of the Most High that giveth to all men liberally, and upbraid it not." So you're not asking, you're not gonna get it, and it shall be given him right. The scripture says it. The Lord, the scripture don't lie. Verse six says, "But let him ask in faith, nothing wavering, for he that wavereth is like a way." It's like a wave of the sea driven with the wind and tossed. It says, for let not that man think that he should receive anything of the Lord. It's like, for let not that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. So that's why you got to be a one mind, man. You know, like the scripture says, let not I be single. Because if you're not asking in faith, man, you're not going to get it. If you don't believe in the Lord, hey, the scripture says what? You got to believe that he is a rewarder of, he is, and that he's a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. You got to diligently seek the Lord. That means constantly, continuously. Um, I believe it was a scripture that said, pray. I'm gonna go. I'm, I'm gonna remember to um, go back to Proverbs. Um, I thought it was a scripture that said, "If any man feeling weak, let him pray." To the Heavenly Father, or something like to that effect. Um, but um, let's go back to the book of. I believe I got James. That's what I really wanted. That's what I was thinking of. That was in James. So I'm just going back to Proverbs eight and um. This is Proverbs eight and thirty three. It says, "Hear, hear instruction and be wise and refuse it not. Blessed is the man that heareth me." So if you're hearing, you know, the words of Yahweh Shai, you're blessed. Because a lot of people are not hearing these words. They 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 cringe like like Nick said. He don't like when you say that name Yahweh by Shemel Shot, man. <laughs> they cringe when you hear that. When they hear the word. It, it doesn't it's, it cuts them to the heart. They don't like it. It says, Blessed is the man that heareth me, watching daily at my gate. So we gotta be watching daily at the Lord's gates, man. You know? daily that's what we're doing we're watching like the scripture says and i've set watchmen on the wars which shall never hold their peace day nor night and we're fulfilling that prophecy we're never holding our peace look at this it's nighttime in the east coast 6 37 p.m you know and and we're we're still you know pretty sure brothers doing videos all around the world in different time zones man so we're not holding our peace through the spirit and power and inspiration of yahweh by shemel shah man uh, this is verse 35. It says, For whoso, if, whoso findeth me, findeth life, and shall obtain favor of Yahweh. Wow. If you find Yahweh Shah, if you hear the words of Yahweh Shah, you found life, man. And you got to hold on to it. You got to fight for it, man. You know, these these these, these demons out here want to get you, you know, a, most importantly, Esau don't want you to believe in his word, man. 
you know he don't want you to believe in his work he wants you to fall off he wants you to continue to be inside his matrix but there are, there, these are, there are spirits out here that are against us you got to fight for it man and the scripture says what the scripture says what strive for the truth unto death man you're not dead yet so keep striking striving fight for your crown don't let nobody take it man that goes for me first and foremost man saying this can't be no fucking hypocrite man you know because uh, the Lord a hip a spew a hypocrite out of his mouth, man. That means you spit something out. But like you taste something real nasty, just spit it out, man. That's how the Lord will do you. So that's why we gotta constantly pray. Pray for faith. You know, pray for the forgiveness. Most importantly, for pray for mercy. Lord, wash the aid. You know, pray for the Lord to you know cleanse from our sins, man. Verse thirty six it says, but. He that sinneth against me wrongeth his own soul. So you hurting yourself, man. You condemning yourself. You hurting yourself when you sin it against the Lord, man. You you bringing harm unto your soul. The scripture says what? Do no evil and no harm shall come unto thee. You know why harms happen to you niggas, man? Because you sinning. And you don't stop. You cake up sin with sin. Niggas sin every goddamn day. And then they chase sin with sin. Committing adultery. Smoking. You don't supposed to be smoking. Taking all kinds of drugs. Defiling your temple. And then wonder why you dropping dead at 25 and 30 and shit. You drunk all that goddamn lean and shit and done fucked your damn system up. Fucked your liver up. It says all that hate me love death. So if you hate Yahweh Shai, man, you love death now. Period, point blank. And you're gonna die in your sins. That said the what? The Bible. This ain't these ain't my words, man. You know, it's the book of Matthew, chapter 1, verse 21. It says, And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Yahushai, which means Yah, meaning he, Yahushai meaning saves or delivers. For he shall save his people from their sins. Who are those people that talk about the nation of Israel? And nobody else. You're not a part of the nation of Israel. You're not so-called Negro, Latino, Native American, Cuban, you know, um, so-called Dominican, Haitian, um, so-called Mexican. Who am I missing? Uh, so-called Jamaican. This is not for you and all the tribes that are in between. Um, I was going to get some. But I escaped me. Ah oh, man, I was just finna get something. Um, Lord willing, it come back to me, man. Uh, how right does that come back to me? Uh, what precept I was finna get? Uh, it's got Matthew talking about Yahweh Shai, how he came. To see. Oh, there we go. Call Lion Lion by Shunal Call her Lion Lion Yahweh by Shunal Shah. The book of Acts, chapter 4, verse 12. I believe it's verse 12. No. No, it's a, yeah, it's 11, it is 12. Verse 11 says, This is the stone. Which was set at naught of you builders, which is talking about Yahweh Shah. Yahweh Shah is that the chief cornerstone. It says, which has become the head of the corner, Yahweh Shah. Neither is there salvation in any other. So if y'all, y'all claiming that the Lord, y'all only believe in the Old Testament, how are you gonna be delivered if you only believe in the Old Testament? Because Yahweh Shah is your deliverer. So if you don't believe in him, how are you gonna be delivered? It make it make sense, man. Make it make sense. Yahweh sent his son, Yahweh shot to save us, man. Because that's his whole purpose. That's what he was created for. That and among other things, man. We, but we right now, we're just focusing on that. I don't want somebody to get simple. You know, because Jake's simple as fuck. It says, For there is none other name under heaven given among men Whereby we must be saved. So, Yahweh Shah is that man that came and died for our sins, man. The, the word was made flesh. The engrafted word, which is Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Shah is the word, is able to save your souls. So our salvation lies in Yahweh Shah. If we don't, if Yahweh Shah ain't our savior, then who the hell is, man? Please tell me that. If Yahweh Shah is not our savior, then who is our savior, man? Because the scripture clearly said 
There is no other, neither is there salvation in any other. There's no other, there's salvation in nobody else, man. So if Yahweh Shai ain't our Savior, then who the hell is? For there is none other name that includes so-called Jesus Christ because that name ain't even the real name of the Lord. It says, For there is none other name under heaven given among men, among men, whereby we must be saved. So there's no other man on this, uh, on this earth that can deliver you. Yahweh Shai is the only the one and only that's going to be able to deliver us, man. The elites can't deliver you. They can't even deliver them damn selves, man. They may escape the, the nuclear holocaust that's going to happen. But guess what? They're not going to escape the prophets and the men of the Lord that's going to round up all of these, round their ass up. Like it says in the book of Isaiah, Psalms on 149, they're not going to escape that. They can run, but they can't hide, man. You know, because the Lord gonna put the spirit on us, we gonna you gonna find you devils, man. You can hide in your your missile silos and your bomb bunkers and whatever you hide in, man. We gonna come and get you. Thus said the Bible, man. Not one of you gonna get away. You may think you are gonna get away, but then the Lord gonna get you with a nice little surprise, man. Like that's a surprise, motherfucker. That's what's gonna happen. So. There is not no salvation in any other man. So if you're not believing in the in in, 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 in Yahweh Shai, then you don't believe in the Heavenly Father. Because like the scripture says, Yahweh Shai said it himself. The Father and I are one. They're not that doesn't mean that they're one entity. That means they and they agreed with each other, man. You know? They're in one mind. In one heart. And this is the year that the Lord turning up, turning up, man. Coined by Apostle Tahar. So things are gonna turn up real this year, man. The heat is gonna get turned up in America. Every time brother say that, I just think about, I just think about um, Malachi four and one. Every time brother say, I think about Malachi four and one. Cause the Lord finna turn up the heat. Um. Lock here, bear with you, but I'm shot. Um, I can't find that precept. Hold on. Here it is. Acts 4 and 22. It says, And the multitude of them that believed were of one heart, and one of one and one soul, and of one soul. So just like, you know, we are in agreement with each other, we're of one mind, one heart, so are the Heavenly Father and Yahweh Shah, man. It says, neither said, said, said any of them that all of the things which he had possessed was his own, but they had all things coming. So there was a one heart, man, one mind, one, by, one mind, one body in Yahweh Shah, man. Hey, like the scripture says, can two walk lest they be agreed? You know? So it's very plain and simple, man. It's not, it's 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 not it's 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 like it. one plus one equals two. You know? Two plus two equals four. It's very simple. Jake try to turn a, a simple math problem into trigonometry and all this other you know, bullshit that he saw through. Bullshit. You know, but Lord willing, man, you better edify with this lesson, man. Lord willing through the spirit, I'll be back with another one. But, you know, like I said, the title name of this is gonna be Yahweh Shai's in charge. So you niggas need to realize that Yahweh Shai is, is he, he's that guy, man. Yahweh Shai is that guy. Yahweh Shai is that guy, man. You gonna get with it or get ran over, man. This is the uh slot here. Let me get this one last precept before I close this lesson. Luke 19 and 27. My favorite scripture. It says, but those mine enemies, which, you know, a lot of our people are enemies to Yahweh Shah, even within the nation of Israel. Y'all the enemies of Yahweh Shah, so y'all gonna get purged out first. Like the scripture says, judgment shall begin in the house of the Lord. It says, 
which would not that I should reign over them, bring hither and slay them for me. Ultimately, that's talking about the heathen nations. You know, Moab, you know, recently looking at videos of Moab, how, you know, they they really acting like they want to be an acceptance with Esau. So guess what? Y'all are going to, you going to ride together? You're going to fucking die together, man. Lord willing, I'll cook up a lesson, you know, through the spirit by, by, about you damn Moabites and you heathen, other heathen nations, man. You know, because y'all not exempt. And that judgment is going to pass over to you too. Since you want to be in confederate with the devil, you're going to, yeah, you ride together, you're going to fucking die together, man. Bring hither and slay them before me. So, along with Moab and Elam and Ishmael and whoever standing, who never, whoever try, not trying to bow down or get down, with get down, with the get down, you're going to be put down, man. You're going to be put down like a, 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 a dog. You know, like a dead dog. You're going to be put down. And that's the commandment from who? Yahweh Shah, man. It's written in red, as you can see. So, Lord willing, man, and you brothers edify with this lesson, man. We give all praises. And then glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Rakakodash. Double honors must be love and salutation to the brothers from his work. And truth and sincerity of heart. Shalom, I want to get, you know, say Shalom. Call me Asha Allah. Why about the bar? Why about the one? Shalom.